it is biblical proportions. Um, it's what we call parthenogenesis, which literally means virgin birth. So it's producing an offspring without an egg actually being fertilised. Well, we've been working very closely with a um, researcher at the University of Queensland who actually came up and did a genetic sample of Cleo as well, um, just to confirm our suspicions. And when the results came back from that, that it is definitely an example of parthenogenesis, that was incredible. Cleo is, I think, the more laid back of the two. So she's very cruisy, very laid back. I guess she came into the world just expecting everything to be nice and easy. Um, Cece is definitely the greedy guts out of the two. So there seems to be, we've noticed this pattern before with clutches of leopard shark eggs, that the first one tends to be, you know, a bit, a bit more relaxed, enjoys their food just as much as anyone, but calmly so, whereas the second one seems to think if they don't eat all the food in the world, they'll never see it again. So the foods they're getting at the moment are things like uh, squid strips, they're getting little bits of fish, so they're moving on to those tougher items. When they're first born, they're getting prawns, but with all the shell removed, so it's nice and small and very little pieces. So they're working their way up to going back to the prawns, but with the shell, which just um, gives them more enrichment in terms of the food, but obviously introduces a lot more of the nutritional requirements for them. They can get things like the calcium from those skeletons when they can get onto the larger items as well. It is a very rare and unique occurrence, and it's particularly interesting with the case that we have here, because we've got you know, a female that we know she's been able to reproduce using normal sexual reproduction, and now something's changed, and she's been able to switch to this completely different method as well. And the other very exciting thing here is her younger daughter who's on display with her who's eight years old this year. Uh, she actually started reproducing eggs for the first time just when she was alone in the tank with mum. She's never been kept with a male. And we're seeing signs that she might actually be reproducing using parthenogenesis as well. So we have two potentially very unique stories. So one that's reproduced sexually and have swapped and one that's never reproduced sexual offspring but has chosen right out of the gate to produce offspring all on her own. So obviously we've got uh, Leonie who's successfully gone through and reproduced these offspring all by herself. But now one of her daughters who's actually eight years old this year, who has only just started laying eggs within the last year, has been showing these similar signs. She's been laying eggs again and they're showing signs there's little embryos developing. And now she's never been housed with a male so there's every chance that she's decided to follow in mum's footsteps or our mum's tail swish and has decided to produce offspring by parthenogenesis as well. And here at Reef HQ we're so excited about it and in fact it's going to become a huge story, a lot of scientific interest in what's going on and it raises a lot of questions. Does this happen in the wild? Does it happen more often than we realise? The interesting bit of research that we want to uh, find out in the future is whether the offspring uh, reproductively viable as well. So uh, we're certainly going to be keeping the first of our pups, Cleo, uh, here at Reef HQ, just to see uh, and to um, explore a little further uh, her ability to produce viable offspring.